152 years ago, President Abraham Lincoln first protected the sacred grounds of Yosemite National Park. Later, President Teddy Roosevelt traveled here with John Muir, one of our country's greatest champions of wilderness preservation. Together, they were inspired to give life to one of America's best ideas, our national parks. We are not building this country of ours for a day, Teddy Roosevelt said. It is to last through the ages. When he went camping in Yosemite, he called these 2,000-year-old sequoia trees a temple grander than any human architect could possibly build. Earlier this summer, Michelle and I visited Yosemite with our daughters. We came here to celebrate the National Park Service's centennial and to be part of our storied American tradition of conservation and preservation. We flew over the Rocky Mountains and the waterfalls and forests of Yosemite. When we landed, we looked up at Half Dome, lit by the setting sun and a clear blue sky. It took our breath away. As parents, it's important that our kids have a chance to experience a place like this. And we want to make sure all of America's kids have this opportunity. That's why last year we helped launch our Every Kid in a Park effort to give every fourth grader in the country a better chance to visit our parks, forests, and public lands. Our national parks belong to every American. That was the revolutionary idea of people like John Muir, who traveled here in the 19th century built a cabin and lived in these woods. They called him John of the Mountains, and his efforts continue to inspire Americans today. So you're at John Muir's cabin site. So it, you can almost feel John Muir here, and that's why I love this special spot. You know, this idea, people came into Yosemite in uh, the mid-1800s and looked at this place and said, We've got to save it. So a few individuals got Congress to designate this a park in 1864. So it was the beginning of the national park idea, which I just love. So there's so much history. And then John Muir came in later and expanded the park to 900,000 acres by working with Congress. So, and what I love about Yosemite is it's for all people for all time, and that just makes it so much more magical. And everybody that comes here, now we serve four million visitors. So you have four million visitors a year. Uh, you're probably entering into peak time, I assume. Yes. Uh, and you know, one of the things that I've really been trying to emphasize is uh, the importance of getting kids in here. Because one of my most vivid memories of my childhood was visiting Yellowstone when I was 11 years old and seeing bison and moose and bears for the first time, uh, but also just having an appreciation of uh, the grandeur and scale and size of, the, of one of our great national parks. And, and you have that same feeling when you're at Grand Canyon or obviously here at Yosemite, uh, which is why we're trying to do everything we can to uh, make sure that every fourth grader has a free pass to get in here and. Uh, the families are, are looking at this as, as uh, an important vacation moment or family moment, just like going to Disneyland or uh, going to an amusement park. Even better than going to Disneyland, in my opinion. So we've really embraced that concept to actually connect you to the stewardship idea right. and really work with kids. And we do about 50,000 in-depth programs per year. And I think those kids that you just work with, yeah 
I mean, it's very emotional. A lot of them had never been to this park before. Some of them are at risk. Some of them are disadvantaged. So we're really trying to connect people to this out of doors. And I would challenge anybody to come into Yosemite Valley and not be awestricken by how beautiful it is. And, and to be changed. And to be changed. Places like Yosemite make us feel part of something bigger than ourselves. From Yellowstone to Denali, from Gettysburg to Seneca Falls. Our national parks, monuments, memorials, and other sites number more than 400 in all. They stretch across the country, from pristine forests to New York City. They give us a sense of history, awe, and wonder. Here at a place like Yosemite, we connect not just with our own spirit, but with something greater, with the spirit of America itself. In August, we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service. And since I took office, I have been proud to build on the work of all those giants who came before me to support our natural resources and to help all Americans get out into the great outdoors. We protected more than 265 million acres of public lands and waters. That's more than any administration in history. Now, it does include this really big body of water on the Pacific Ocean, but we've also already done the second most public lands of any administration in history. We've seen more victories under the Endangered Species Act than any previous administration. Blackberries in Louisiana, Sea turtles. We know that protecting and preserving places like Yosemite and all of our national parks is more important today than ever. As we look ahead in the coming years and decades, a changing climate and rising temperatures means birds and mammals who have made their home here at Yosemite for thousands of years are moving to escape the heat. They could mean more wildfires, drier meadows, and the melting of Yosemite's largest glacier. Rising seas could destroy vital ecosystems in the Everglades, even threaten the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. That is not the America I want our kids to grow up in. That's not the legacy that any of us should want to leave behind. The idea that these iconic places could be marred or lost to history shouldn't be treated as a hoax. It should spur us to action. Because this planet belongs to all of us. It's the only one we've got. But we can't just say that and then oppose every action that would save it. We have to have the foresight and the faith in our future to do what it takes to protect these parks and protect this planet for our kids and for all generations to come. You see, going to a place like Yosemite changes you. It stays with you for the rest of your life. And I want all of our kids and all of their kids to have this chance too. I know that we can rise to the challenge. I know that we can build upon the legacy of all those who came before us. Those who stood up for these parks more than a century ago. And we'll build an America that can truly last through the ages. <laughs>